kids we already know the different units of time such as seconds days weeks etc let us learn how much of one unit of time is equal to in terms of another unit of time let's begin one year has 52 weeks one year has 365 days and one leap year has 366 days one decade is equal to 10 years one century is equal to 100 years which is same as the period of 10 decades now let's learn how to recognize whether the given year is a leap year or not we know that a leap year is a year with 366 days wherein the month of february has 29 days now in order to find whether the year is a leap year or not we just need to follow two simple rules rule 1 we have a leap year when the number represented by the last two digits of the given year is divisible by 4 rule 2 a century year however is a leap year only when the number represented by the first two digits of the year is divisible by 4 Now let's look at a few examples to understand it in a better way. Let's find out whether the year 1904 was a leap year or not. Here the number represented by the last two digits is 04 which is divisible by 4. Thus the year 1904 was a leap year. Now Let's find out whether the year 1982 was a leap year or not. Here the number represented by the last two digits is 82 which is not divisible by 4. Thus 1982 was not a leap year. Finally we shall find out whether the year 2100 will be a leap year or not as the year 2100 is a century year we have to check if the number represented by the first two digits 21 is divisible by 4 21 is not divisible by 4 therefore the year 2100 will not be a leap year next Let us look at a few examples to learn how to find the number of days between two dates. Jeet's semester exam began on 3rd March and ended on 15th March. How many days did his exam last? Here, as there are papers on both the start and end dates, we will include them too. while we count the number of days so we count forward from 3rd march till we reach 15th march which gives us 13 days hence we can say that jeet's exam lasted for 13 days let us look at one more example nancy went on a vacation for 2 weeks from 12th may when did she return home we know that 2 weeks means 14 days so we add 14 days to 12th may and get the date as 26th may look we got the answer nancy returned home on 26th may kids 
Do practice some examples of the same type on your own.